President Trump has created a new office in the Department of Homeland Security for the sake of tracking crime committed by illegal immigrants here. Well, today, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer reiterated that halting illegal immigration is a top priority for the new president. Watch. He has made enforcing our nation's immigration laws a top priority, signing executive orders that start work on a southern border wall, that enhance the public safety of Americans through ordering the strong enforcement of immigration laws that are already on the books, halting funding to jurisdictions in the United States that don't comply with federal immigration rules, and directing the Department of Homeland Security to hire a combined 15,000 new officers and agents to support the system and protect the nation. What a waste of time, say the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Associated Press, and virtually everyone else in Washington. Illegal immigrants, they tell us, commit far fewer crimes than native-born Americans do. Ann Coulter is an author. She spent a lot of time researching this matter. And she says the Times, the Post, and the rest of the press are totally full of it. She joins us now. <laughs> Ann, thanks for, thanks for coming on. Thank so, you for having me. So you are routinely described as a provocateur, but at least on this subject, you're legitimately an expert. You wrote an entire book on this, and there was a lot of original reporting in it. I read it. A lot of other people did. They can vouch for that. So on this Thank specific you. question, immigrant crime, the Times told us again and again, that's not true, they commit less crimes. What is the fact? What, what are the numbers well, on this? Well, I have all the numbers we have. There aren't very many, and I do think it's quite telling that it's always my side that wants the real numbers, um, and I hope we'll get them under Attorney General Sessions. I do think that is the entire reason for this hysteria. Um, yes. They absolutely want to take Sessions out because they want to keep this dump of the third world going on America. It's not just that, and there's a lot of evidence um, that, that Immigrants do commit more crime. Otherwise, I don't think the left would be so hysterical about why are you deporting? Oh, if it's just a small crime. Well, right. yeah, I don't know. How many small crimes have you committed? Um, and, and these are guests in our country, but it's also the kind of crimes they're committing. So, I mean, one thing that's been driving me crazy is hearing Paul Ryan. I mean, his specialty is we got to reform entitlements, and that means you Americans, you're going to have to wait longer to collect your Social Security and Medicare, and we're going to have to means test it. So maybe you've been paying in your whole life, but we just, it's a, and it's true it is a Ponzi scheme, but I have another idea, and that is to stop bringing in immigrants whose specialty is committing crimes against our entitlements programs. I was trying to capture this for my book, Adios America. I mean, just start noticing, whenever you see a headline, there was one last year, a billion dollars stolen from Medicare in Florida. Um, look at the names and see, ask yourself, what I've seen these in a phone book in America, um, you know, 20 years ago. Um, up in Michigan, it's very very heavily Arab, Florida, heavily Hispanic, New York, well, all over. It's, it's wait, Arab, wait, wait. Russian. Wait, this, these aren't crimes we are used to. American criminals are dumb, which gives the police a little bit of an advantage, but they don't understand that in other cultures, uh, it isn't just dumb people who are criminals. And, and there's a specialty in, in computer hacking and, and credit card stealing and, and ripping off government programs, which isn't, it's barely even considered a crime. But these numbers shouldn't be hard to get because right? people who are processed through the system, who are arrested, adjudicated, imprisoned, we ought to have numbers on where they're from, what their legal residency is, what their nationality yes. is. Do we have those numbers? They must exist somewhere. No, they don't. No, it drove me crazy. That's how um, Adios America became Adios America. Immigration was going to be just one part of that book. Um, I'd already drafted a few chapters for the book I originally was going to write, which I still think is a great idea for a book. Maybe I'll write it someday. Um, and I got to the immigrant crime part because I thought, I mean, isn't that the most basic thing we should know about people we're bringing into our country, people who have no right to be here? Um, forget about, you know, how much they're contributing to the system right. or how much they're taking out in welfare. Just how many are committing crimes? What kind of crimes? Um, how much does that cost the country? And I'm, I'm, I'm a fanatical researcher, and, oh, you cannot get that information. Every time I describe the process of what you find when you go looking for it, the census cl collects all kinds of information. I can tell you... Um, um, you know, how many Samoans have battery-powered radios, how many Americans have broken stair railings. But right. if you want to find out how many immigrants are in prison, state or federal, good luck to you. So, I mean, then clearly this is willful and it's in effect a cover-up. It's what's happening in Sweden right now, where yes. the government makes it a policy to lie about the effect of their immigration policy. Yes, that's right. And it's not just that we are bringing in criminals. I mean, you'll always hear, 
let's even if it were true that that immigrants and I mean legally and illegal were committing fewer crimes no the number we want is zero we want zero it's not like we don't want the same number of criminals as the native population it's crazy right. as I Why said it's like that? you know you have bad food in your refrigerator you don't go out and get other bad food to bring in. No, you can pick any food you want. Get the fresh food. Well, that's so us with immigration. Let's get only good immigrants who are, who are smarter, make more money. We, we ought to be like the Patriots, recruiting players. Well, exactly. So the, the other stat that you often see batted down uh, by the New York Times and others is that immigrants consume a lot of welfare benefits. And so the line you often read is actually immigrants, legal and illegal, consume welfare at a lower rate than native-born Americans. Is that true? No, what they do is define only certain programs as welfare. Um, or there are other tricks. I mean, there are all kinds of lies that are used when it comes to the immigration topic. But one interesting little fact is the 1996 Welfare Reform Bill, um, as part of that bill, I was working for the Senate Judiciary Committee back then, one of the provisions was uh, Immigrants could not collect welfare for the first five years they were here. And, you know, across America, people were saying, that's not already the law? No, no, right. no. They were very upset about it at the New York Times, denounced that provision over and over again. That provision, welfare, you can't accept welfare for the first five years you're here if you're a guest in our country, was the biggest cost savings of welfare reform. Huh. And it's so, all been overturned by now, by the way. Thank you. Well, well, so in, and and that's that's the question. So there's no factual basis to the claim that immigrants consume welfare at a lower rate than Americans. Native no, born. it's quite the opposite. I mean, um, Center for Immigration Studies has has the numbers. Um, I think generally what they're talking about is um, you know, um, what what used to be called aid to mothers with dependent children. There's one yeah, particular, yeah. Yeah, 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 one that one particular. If you would define. All other forms of welfare, subsidized housing, Section 8, food stamps, free health care, if none of that, or Social Security disability, if none of that is called welfare, so they're, A, they're looking at one program, and also, haha, -ha, B, if, if an illegal alien drops a baby in America, well, that's not an, an illegal immigrant. It's maybe an immigrant. Um, but suddenly the baby is allegedly an American citizen, something no, no Congress has ever passed that law, no court has ever upheld that. A child born, born in America is not a citizen, and I hope Trump starts enforcing what the real law is. Ann Coulter, thanks for joining us. Thank you.